Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we are looking at Fight Girls number three by Frank Cho. As you can see from this uh, Sharkalicious cover, it's going to be totally awesome. So I'm going to cue the intro while you hit subscribe and like, and I'll be right back. It's Troy TV. All right, so uh, Fight Girls is easily one of my favorite series to come out of 2021, and I'm really shocked at like how much I like it. I've always loved Frank Cho's art. I think he's great. I mean, he's right up there with, you know, Adam Hughes and Terry Dotson when it comes to drawing beautiful, powerful women, good girl art, uh, cheesecake, whatever you want to call it. Some, I mean, sometimes uh, people think it's a little like heavy handed and over the top, but I think it's like, this is the perfect vehicle for somebody like Frank Cho, who likes to draw um, beautiful women and he likes to draw like dinosaurs and creatures and stuff, monsters and stuff like that. So this mini series from AWA, a new um, uh, comic book company, AWA stands for Artists, Writers, and Artisans, and I think that's easily one of the worst names I've ever heard for a company. Um, thanks to the grocery store, I now think of, I can only think of Brad when I see the word artisan, so that's probably why it was ruined for me. But anyway, so this is a mini series, five issue mini series. It's kind of like Fight Club reality show kind of thing. I mean, it's not really like Fight Club, I don't know why I said that, but it's like a reality show where uh, there's a contest to uh, uh, find a new ruler, a new queen for the monarchy. And they have to go through these uh, five different, four different, forgive me, challenges, 10 women, one crown. So is it right there on the cover? It is so good. Um, by Frank Cho. Um, it is just really well written. It's a fun adventure and the art is just breathtaking. Um, so colors by Sabine Rich, who is amazing. I've never, I, this is the first time I've seen, um, their coloring. So, um, I think it, it just is great. Like you can see how well, I mean, Frank Cho is such a great artist anyway. So I'm glad that he has this great colorist. I mean, we get these gorgeous double page spreads like that. Look at the ocean. I mean, that is freaking magical right there. I love it because, you know, these women look very athletic and very powerful. This would be like, uh, and I love the uh, variant covers Frank Cho did for Wonder Woman Rebirth. He only did like five or six, I think, before um, he left the title, which was unfortunate because I would love to have like a great, like, uh, graphic novel or series of Wonder Woman by Frank Cho. I think he draws an amazing Wonder Woman and I love his Wonder Woman. But these colors are gorgeous I and mean, they just really, I've never seen colors like this before. They're so bright and vibrant and beautiful and they just really pop and blend well with the art. I think it's funny because um, there are a lot of creatures and obviously this is a giant turtle, but I can see um, <laughs> at first, I don't know why, maybe it's just my artist brain, but picturing Frank Cho just like using little like ceramic turtles on his desk for reference or something like that. Um, which I have no idea, of course. Well, I like to say, you know, this is all my opinion. It's not a doctrine. So just take what I say for, you know, with a grain of salt. But anyway, of course, I was totally roped into this because I love sharks and what an amazing shark on the cover. I thought it was a uh, great white, but as it turns out, it's even better than that. It's in an extinct megalodon. How cool is that? Oh, I guess trigger warning, by the way, like it gets kind of graphic, like she got her arm bit off and, you know, I mean, it's a very, <laughs> we should all look so good after having our army amputated by a shark, right? And then if that's not bad enough, then this vulture pterodactyl type creature swoops her out of the drink. I mean, it is just too much. And then this is so cool. Look at the Megalodon. Spoilers, by the way. 
just popping out of the water and getting the pterodactyl and the chick too at the same time. So I thought that was particularly awesome. It is just, I mean, come on, if you like sharks or just beautiful art, this book is for you. It's kind of like nonstop action, but there's like an intriguing story. Like the story's not completely thrown away. Gross. Oh my God, that's so disgusting. But yet beautiful at the same time. I mean, Frank Cho is just that great of an artist. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a lot of fun and intriguing. And speaking of triggering, like it bothers to me a shark to see a shark decapitated like that. You know, sharks are so um, mysterious and powerful. And to be see one of, you know, nature's greatest predators cut to the quick like that, it's disturbing. It's AF. The art is just like so gorgeous. I mean, I could just look at this art all day. It's so amazing. Like I'm telling you, I would love to see this like at actual size or the original art pages because I'm sure it is just really gorgeous. I love Frank Cho's art. This is a really fun book. I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite books of 2021. It's only a five issue mini series. I almost wish I would have waited so I could just get the trade paper back. <clears throat> I don't know how keen I am to do that at this point. But anyway, AWA pumping out some good books. Uh, Kari Andrews uh, Erratic was really good. And they got some other fun stuff coming out. Um, there's uh, J. Michael Straczynski's Telepaths. This is looking pretty cool. Steve Epting. So they have like a lot of like high caliber talent working on these books, you know, and um, I think they're definitely a company to keep an eye on. AWA, in spite of their horrible name, um, producing some really fun, great books. Um, like Erratic is another great book by Kari Andrews. Totally worth checking out. But Fight Girls is where it at. it's at. 10 women, four challenges, one crown. Fight Girls, written and illustrated by Frank Cho. Totally check it out. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content, and I'll bring you some more soon. All right. Thanks guys.